Hey everybody, it's Tony the Blacksmithing Gamer, and here we do everything from blacksmithing to 3D printing to bring things inside the video games into the real world. This week, Halo Reach is coming out again, and with that, we're making the energy sword from Halo. Let's get started, I'll show you how we made it. So just to explain what was what that was, um, a while ago I had bought a, uh, uh, a APC power supply, and uh, it was basically so that if the power ever went out, um, the 3D printer wouldn't stop printing. But what happened here, basically, this power supply is on the fritz. I'll say um, it kind of goes off randomly on occasion. I tried to return it to Amazon, but they didn't want it. They just refunded me my money. But on the downside, I have a uh, partially faulty, I mean, it still works in terms of uh, supplying power, and it does have battery backup. Unfortunately, though, uh, occasionally it just kind of goes off um, and starts beeping like crazy. So, but uh, one thing I wanted to mention is I'm starting to experiment with some of the uh, brim versus raft uh, on the 3d printer here and um, I just 3d printed it with the brim instead of the raft it kind of preserves a little bit of the 3d print material but uh, the downside is it looks like the uh, outside layer is just a little bit thinner because I have my uh, nozzle set really really close to the actual bed uh, so I think I'm going to switch it up with raft and uh, see how that looks instead here we go So we're going to start putting the uh, energy blade together. The idea is I'm, I want to put uh, all the pieces together first. Oh, oh, this will be the opposite one, but you get the idea. So I'm going to put one side together, um, fill it with the lights, and then put the other half on it. Um, attach it to the handle. And then uh, make sure all the uh, electronic components are in the handle, all ready to go. And uh, give it a little bit of paint, and away we go. Okay, 
Okay, so we have uh, most of the piece, actually all of the pieces printed. Um, some of them came out better than others, but we uh, were just fastening it all. I picked up some Christmas lights here. So the goal is to have these guys inside the sword. So it'll look something like this. So um, once I have that inside the sword, I'm going to put uh, all the guts of the power into the handle, which will, which looks like this. So it's hollowed out. I'll stick all that in there. I'll uh, uh, actually come to think that I'll have to figure out a button situation to turn it on. Just dry fit it all because I have currently I have a little channel set up in the uh, piece that goes in the handle, more like this. Um, so basically the wire will feed through the channel into the handle and then the wiring with all the lights will be on the inside of the uh, blade. I'll probably glue up the, uh, the lights so that they you know, look some sort of in a form of lightning pattern. I haven't figured out if I'm going to make them flicker yet. Uh, once that's all together, we'll uh, paint it a little bit. I still want to retain the fact that this is clear and you can see through it. So uh, I'm just going to give it a light paint. Uh, just basically a haze of uh, make it kind of blue lightning-y like the energy sword. And uh, well, I'll finish the handle in the same way it looks like in the game. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going. So, so far... I did this section here, and now I'm going to do the tail end. Okay, so I got my button. So I'm going to basically put the button in the arm, in the uh, handle right about here. I'll solder to the ends of it. That way I could, it'll stick out just barely out of the handle. And when I press it, it'll turn on the lights. So a couple things about diodes. If you're going to be cutting apart the circuit, um, it is a DC circuit here. Um, these have some sort of... Uh, this wiring has some sort of coating so I used a lighter to burn off a little bit of the coating and what I'm doing here now is marking with a polarity because uh, diodes which are these guys here only work in one direction when it comes to DC so we got the negative positive here black for negative and uh, I just turn on my power supply and check and so basically this is hooked up correctly if they were hooked up in reverse these wouldn't come off so um, just make sure your polarity is all right before hooking up the circuit and I'll clarify again uh, what the circuit will look like when I'm done but one thing to watch for we did just uh, soldered not the best soldering job um, but we just went kitty corner on the button we have it all ready for assembly we're gonna put some epoxy on it and then uh, clamp it all together so there we go so we got the blades ready to go. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to give them a light dusting of some uh, metallic blue. And uh, then I'll paint a few little details on. I'll wire them up and uh, we'll see the final product. So we're going to do the first coat of paint on the handle for the energy sword. 
it's actually kind of cold. I'm wearing a shirt without sleeves in the uh, shop. Um, I'll try to make it quick. All I did here is I just dry brushed some of the dark blue and then I highlighted it with some of the light blue. Next I'm going to go in paint with some lightning. So we're just doing a dry fit for the uh, energy sword here. We'll make sure it's lined up. But just to explain the wiring. So there's two wires going in there, two wires going in there. They're all diodes in here, so they are uh, directional. What that means is that you have to make sure the lights are on the same pair. So. Um, you know, when you hook up a battery to a light, which is a diode or LED in this case, um, it only turns on one way. So if you put a battery like this, it might turn on, and if you put a battery on like this, it might not. So um, before you twist it together, before you, however you fasten it, I just twisted it together, I'm going to use... Uh, there are these little scotch locks that I have uh, to basically insert everything into there. You press this down, it'll it'll connect it all and uh, seal it and everything for you. Um, putting my button there, but uh, yeah, before you twist it all together, before you do any of this stuff, you can use electrical tape too. I used electrical tape to mark my lines. Um, just make sure that the battery will turn on your light if you're using LEDs. If you're using old-fashioned uh, incandescents, it doesn't matter, it goes, either, it goes on either way. Um, but the circuit will basically go, we have the battery, positive negative, which will go through a switch on one of the lines to one of the lines. The other line will just go to the battery. So it's just making a circle through the switch, if that makes any sense. And again, make sure you have your polarity right on your battery, that it turns it on. All right. Just to show you the circuit one more time, um, without breaking anything, hopefully. Uh, so I got both of the uh, sets of uh, lights coming into these two points here. It goes out of this through the switch to the battery and back to the other side. Sword. I did put LEDs in it. Um, unfortunately, the button seems to be uh, broken. Of course, after I set everything together and put everything together, put all the effort in, um, I uh, glued the button. So, um, another thing is the uh, bolts on my handle. Unfortunately, I have to still replace, but they do the job.
We're continuing with our cosplay segment this week. Let's check out this week's cosplayer. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down there below. Or, if you want to follow me on any of these social media websites, you can get daily updates on the projects I'm working on. Thanks again for watching. I'm Tony, the Blacksmith and Gamer, where every week we're making things from the games we love.